Dun, dun, dun. So when you think about it, when you're not taking in enough fluids, well, your body's working overtime. Because normally you drink fluids, it obviously goes down through your esophagus into your stomach, into your intestines, and it gets absorbed. That's what determines your blood volume. When you're po properly hydrated, you have nice blood volume. With dehydration, your blood volume decreases because your blood volume is 90% water. That causes everything to work harder. So in this dehydrated state, what's happening? Well, your heart is compensating. It has to pump harder and faster to get oxygen and blood to the organs of your body. Your muscles are going to be working harder. They're going to feel more fatigued than normal. And what, of course, this can cause is just this overall lack of clear thought and concentration. You might notice that you have dry tongue, dry lips, your skin. What you're seeing here is actually a close-up. When you're properly hydrated, you're going to have good skin turgor. It should bounce back without a problem. If you're dehydrated, we call this skin tenting. If you do it on the back of your hand, you'll pull up and let go, and it'll stay tented if you're severely dehydrated. And all these physical signs basically mean that you are more likely than not staying hydrated enough. Certainly, these are severe signs. These become life-threatening. Confusion, if you're not making any urine. If you notice someone has sunken eyes, their heart seems to be beating faster than normal, particularly in babies. Babies crying, Dr. Sears. Mm -hmm. If they're make, not making tears, they're probably dehydrated. That's one of the big things I ask when I'm on the 